Okay, joining us now, GOP uh, Congressman Guy Reschenthaler from House Appropriations. Congressman, Republican Party fears are growing that infighting and the fight over Liz Cheney is going to wreck the Republicans' chances to take back control of the House in the midterms. What do you say? Liz, first off, thanks for having, having me on. As always, just call me Guy. Look, that what would ruin our chances of taking back the House in 22 is if we continue to deal with the number three ranking member in the, in the House leadership constant, constantly looking in the rearview mirror, constantly attacking leadership, attacking Leader McCarthy, and talking about past issues. We need somebody like Elise Stefanik who's going to look forward at the future and who's going to focus on attacking Democrats and the far left agenda of Joe Biden. That's how we're going to win, focusing on the Democrats and what they're doing, not on each other. Yeah, Liz Cheney is saying essentially, and she had, you know about it, the Washington Post op ed, that the president, uh, former President Trump, is, is saying that the vote was rigged, it was a sham election. Uh, she's disagreeing with that, feels she, that he is misleading the Republican Party. You're saying this is backward looking. Some people are saying, well, they don't want the Republican Party headed in that direction. But and then there's this. We've got a Gallup poll saying 57 percent of Americans, the majority, expect that, yeah, we're going to pay more in taxes to cover Biden's six trillion dollars in new spending. Uh, you know, he's Biden is saying he's, quote, not willing to deficit spend. It's about six trillion dollars, and the Treasury just quadrupled its borrowing estimates to pay for all this stimulus when the economy was already booming when Biden set down the Oval Office. Gas and consumer prices are rising. Your reaction? Right. Well, well therein lies the problem is that instead of talking, instead of being in the Washington Post talking about Biden's far left agenda, his idea to raise taxes, the kowtow to the Chinese Communist Party, instead of talking about that, that Washington Post article that Liz Cheney wrote was focused on the 2020 election. We're not going to win if we continue to relitigate what happened in the past. We, we can't view the future through the lens of 2004, 2020, for that matter. We've got to focus on combating the radical left policies of the Biden administration and drawing attention to the public for how Joe Biden yeah. was a bait and switch, how he ran, how he ran as a centrist and he's governing. Uh, as if Bernie Sanders okay. would govern. That's why Liz needs to go as conference chair, and we need somebody like Elise Stefanik, the next generation of leadership, to come in there and focus on winning in 2022. Well, yeah, I hear you, but she's saying, Liz Cheney, I don't want to belabor the point, but she's saying, Liz Cheney is saying Trump is the one relitigating and continuing to litigate the 2020 election, and that's hanging up the party, too. I mean, Biden is demanding everyone pay their fair share for all the spending. He kept bringing it up in his speech to Congress when critics say, you know, and he said it again today, you got to pay your fair share. Biden and his wife used LLCs to avoid paying an estimated more than half a million bucks in payroll taxes for Medicare and Obamacare. They used these LLCs to shelter $13.5 million in book and speech income as profits. They, they, didn't, they avoided payroll taxes that way, setting up these sort of shell LLCs. I mean, there's so much weirdnesses going out there, critics say, that like, what is with the Republican infighting? Get, you know, people are saying, what are you doing? What are you guys doing? Get focused. Even the top former chairs of the Democrats campaign arm, the DCCC, including Martin Frost, say, you know what? Yeah, Nancy Pelosi, you're going to lose the gavel next year because of redistricting and retirements. It feels like the Republicans are all over the map here. No, we're going to rip the Band-Aid and we're going to get rid of leaders that want to look backward and relitigate issues. And by the way, it wasn't President Trump who wrote the article in The Washington Post. It was Liz Cheney. And it's Liz Cheney who doesn't miss any opportunity okay. to, go on, to go on other networks and bash Republicans. We need to get Liz Cheney right, out got... so we can message on the craziness from Joe Biden. That's how we're going to win in 22. Okay, let's move on to this. Why are Republicans getting in on the pork action? Half a dozen GOP senators also are planning to ask for earmarks for their districts, even though the GOP Senate caucus banned them in 2019. Are we going to have more Alaska bridges to nowhere all over the place? No, here's why. Because when earmarks were banned, all it did was give power to the executive branch. And as somebody who represents a Republican district in southwestern Pennsylvania, if I want to have money allotted to my district, I, without earmarks, I'd have to go and talk to some 
22 year old recent graduate from some Ivy League school, it's in a department, and explain to him how locks and dams on the Monongahela River work. No one knows the district better than the representative. This is an Article One, Section One power that we have in the Constitution. We should be making the decisions as elected officials. There's transparency, there's accountability. At the end of the day, the constituents are served better. Additionally, when earmarks were banned, you didn't see any savings. The money is still appropriated. With an earmark, you're appropriating the money, uh -huh. but then you are directing how it's spent in the district. If we don't have this, all the money will go to Democrat districts and battleground states to help Democrat incumbents. At least this way, Republicans get to get some of that funding back and prioritize districts. All right, it sounds like you're defending. Prior, it sounds no like you're. It sounds like you're defending swampy behavior. No, it's it's. Here's the options. Do you want Joe Biden and the administration making these decisions, or do you want Republicans making the decisions like the constitutional call, calls for? The money is still going to be spent right. regardless. I think I know more about my district than some woke uh, woke staffer in yeah. the Biden administration. I don't know if we need another yoga center in New Jersey. All right, paid for by taxpayers. All right, well, Congressman hey, Rush all of that yeah. was a lot of fun. I was going to say, I need a lot in my district. I can tell you, Biden doesn't care about my district like I do. So that's why we okay. need those earmarks back. Thanks, Liz. All right. Good to see you. Come back soon. I'll call you guys you this too. time. Okay. Up next. Fair. Okay.